Hi guys, full run through here, and this is an update to how to make a Minecraft server for Mac computers. I made one a long time ago called uh, how to make a 1.6.4 server, and I've just been updating it with annotations and in the description and all that of how to make it. Now with 1.7.10 and possibly going into 1.7.8, there's one more step that you have to follow. But I'm just going to go on ahead and update it to the entire thing to just show you how to do it from start to finish. Now before I move on, this is not going to show you how to port forward. It's not going to use Hamachi. It's not going to do any of that to show you how to get your friends on the server. This is just how to set up the server yourself. There's going to be a link to a video in the description on how to port forward. And it's the perfect video. Nothing has changed from it. It was uploaded like two years ago, and the processes are all still the same. So I'm not going to go over that, but there will be a link in the description to that video. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to Minecraft.net, which I've just got loaded right here. And you want to go to download it here. Already bought the game? Download it here. You'll click that, and it'll bring you up to the download screen. You've got Minecraft for Mac OS X. And if you want to run on an OS, sec OS or without GUI, uh, there's a link here. But what you want to do is click right here where it says Minecraft Server.1.7.jar. dot one point seven dot jar, and you just want to click that and download it. So it's saved. And go on ahead and right now and save it to your desktop. So I'm just going to save it right there, and you can see I've got my server jar file right here. So the next thing you want to do is make a new folder, and I'm just going to call it 1.7.10 server. So the next thing you want to do is drag your Minecraft server.jar into that file. And you can see that it's set up right here. Okay, then once you have that server.jar file in here, what you want to do is open up text edit and just open new document and make sure you go if you see this right here the margins and margins not margarine that's a type of butter uh, if you see the margins up here you want to go to format and make plain text so you shouldn't see anything it should just be a plain white page and now there's going to be a code in the description of this video that I want you to copy and you're just gonna paste it right up here so I'm just gonna paste it here just like that and uh, this right here is just what I copied it from earlier but what you want to do is it's already gonna say 1710 so just make sure that that's saved just like that and if you don't want a uh, GUI window to pop up uh, I'll show you what that is but if you don't want it to pop up you just need to put no GUI right there so then you want to save that so file save and you want to go on ahead and put that in your server folder and save it as start dot start dot command it doesn't have to be start it could be run it could be anything as long as it's a dot command file you could say uh, server dot command whatever but just start dot command is the easiest thing so you know what it is and then you just save that and you can see that it is right here and uh, it's gonna save uh, the server start dot command cannot be issued because you do not have the appropriate privileges so to get around this what you want to do is go to your terminal window so the easiest way to do is to just click spotlight up here type in terminal and it's gonna pop up right there so the next thing you want to do is once you've pulled up your terminal screen is you're going to type in and you have to type it in exactly as I say chmod space a plus x space and you want to make sure that second space is there and you're going to click and drag your shell file which is also your start.command file to right there and then you just click enter and now you have the access to run your start.command file and you can just quit terminal. So then you want to open up your start.command file 
and it's going to open up a terminal window that's going to start loading a whole bunch of stuff and then you're going to see things happening in the background back here and then it's going to get to a point where it says stopping server log out process complete now on a regular server before 1.10 or, I mean, before 1.7.10, I'm sorry, uh, it would load a whole bunch of stuff. It would just go on ahead and load the world, load everything, and all would be well. But in this case, it's going to open up a EULA text file, E-U-L-A. So what you want to do is quit terminal right here, or just exit, or you can click quit. And then the next thing you want to do is open up this EULA text file, and it'll just open right up in text edit and it says EULA equals false you want to change that to EULA equals true and then file save and you can just exit that and quit terminal or uh, quit text edit I mean. so at, that's the one thing that's changed in all of this is that EULA text is going to pop up so once you switch EULA text to true, you can go back and open up your start.command file. And now is when it's going to run through and start loading everything. It's going to load your world, it's going to load uh, your files, it's going to open everything up. And you can see that here you've got your band files, your, uh, I mean, your uh, band players, your band uh, JSON files, which these are going to be really confusing, but you can figure those out later. The easiest thing to do is to not edit them through this anymore but to just automatically go through your terminal uh, same with the whitelist same with the ops so what I'm gonna do here what the next thing you wanna do is type in uh, slash op and then your username so full run through is my username and you can see it says opt full run through and then if you want to have a whitelist on your server you need to make sure you go backslash whitelist add yourself so that is the biggest uh, change with uh, 1710 is that EULA file right there uh, everything else is exactly the same except like I said your um, your files right here are gonna be a little bit difficult because they're gonna start using the UUIDs so you can see it's going to say UUID, that's a big just random jumble of numbers and letters, and then it's going to say your name, full run through, or whatever your username is. Uh, so just if you want to start whitelisting players and start opting players, it's easiest to just either do that from in-game or uh, from your terminal window, which is going to be this right here. And I said I was going to show you what that GUI is, so I'm just going to type in that, uh, backslash stop, and that will save your server, and that means it's not going to be open. As long as it's stopped, no one can get on, so I'm going to quit that. I'm going to open up my start.command with text edit, and I'm going to get rid of the no GUI right there, save it, quit, and run it again, and you can see once it loads it's going to open up another uh, this is just another uh, it's just basically gonna be a copy of this it's just slightly easier to read this is what you would see if you were running it from a Windows computer so this you can minimize that don't exit that because if you exit it it bad things will happen it'll just be really difficult to figure out what's going on so right here, you can be able to see how many players are in your server, uh, who's all logged on, how much memory is being used, how much memory is free, your average tick speed is going to be right here. And the same thing over here, in this box down here, is going to be where you're going to type in all of your commands. So if I wanted to go backslash whitelist jwkato24, which is one of my friends on the server, you gotta make sure you type in add. So white list space add jwkato24. And you can see that it'll say added jwkato24 to the white list, but it says right here, can't keep up, did the system timeout. You're gonna see that every now and then, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of RAM on your computer. 
as you can see right here, my tick speed dropped below zero, which is never a good thing, and that just means the server can't keep up. That's why I really don't recommend uh, running a computer. F I'm running a server from your computer unless you've got a really like monstrous game machine, and it'll just be easier for it to run. I I used to use this, but then when I started getting more and more people on my server, uh, I switched to a uh, hosting website. But that is basically what you need to do. The one big change, like I said earlier, is the EULA text. You need to make sure that that says EULA equals true. So that this right here will go for any... Uh, 1710 server. I'm pretty sure. I haven't tried it on Windows yet, but there are videos out there for Windows. And I will see you all later. That's really the easiest thing to do. Also, guys, just a quick announcement at the end of this video. I know you may have stopped watching, but if you're listening to this part right here, I am opening up my server to start accepting applications for more server players. I've got a group of friends already that joined the server but I want to open this up to my YouTube audience so what I'm asking is if you're wanting to join a completely 100% vanilla server uh, I'll go into detail on that later if you want to talk about it but it's 100% vanilla no mods no plugins no nothing there's gonna be a link in the description of this video to a video that I made a few weeks ago announcing that I'm opening up my server to other people so if you're 16 years or older of age, I ask you, if you want to join the server, just go watch that video really quick. There's a whole uh, list of instructions on what to do to make sure that I get your username and you would have access to join the server guys, which is, like I said, the server that I started a few years ago uh, that I started running from this computer. I did this exact same process to start this server but we recently switched over to MC Pro Hosting. So, if you want to join a server, it's just going to be a small community server. It's open to YouTubers if you want to record your videos and post them online. I completely encourage that. So, just if you want to join or attempt to join, please just go into the description, uh, watch that video, fill out an application, and send it in to me. So other than that, once again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Your mind.